Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to replace your rear uh, hat struts. I went to Z1 Motorsports after I ordered some cheap eBay ones, um, and they didn't turn out well. They After like two weeks, they died, and it was actually worse than having the stock dead ones up there. So basically, um, I'm going to switch to a head cam. I'm going to show the inside of the car, what I replaced, and or what we're going to replace, and go from there. Okay, so what we're going to replace is that bracket. This stud, that bracket, and this stud. The reason why the left side doesn't have a um, strut on it is because it broke off at the retainer clip. This is the eBay one, so I went to Z1 Motorsports and got another one. So here we go. What you're gonna need is a 12 millimeter socket. I mean, not socket, but 12 millimeter uh, open wrench. I'm using the Stanley one. You can use a 10 millimeter as well, or you can just go with a uh, socket because on the inside of the car these are 10 millimeters which you can get with the drill or with a uh, wrench either one but these needs a wrench only or a thin spanner which is also 12 millimeters so we're going to start on that first okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here take this lift gate off right here this, this, yeah, this is the one I fix I'll have another video up on that and what I'm doing in here is I'm taking this bolt out. I need to go counterclockwise. It's actually. was keeping a good amount of weight on it so what I need to do is I'm probably going to go find a 2x4 or something because this trunk is actually heavy since this is right here I should be able to let it close down a little bit all right there we go it's in there all right so I got this not 2x4 but 3.5 by 3.5 right there I got a wedge in here. I kind of made a mistake and didn't put any type of like sock or anything, so it's scratching up this plastic right here. Dang. But uh, anyways, we continue with what we were doing. Let me slow down on the speed. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this one off. We're just gonna go through and disassemble everything. So I don't want to bore y'all with all this. So. Okay, so on this part, what you want to make sure is that you keep these little gaskets. I didn't check if the other one came with it. So, oh, these are hot. Ooh, I should never left them in the sun. Well, let me get them on out. Let me get them on out. So, with this one, they didn't come with the screws. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your old screws out of the old ones. I'm checking the keys. I don't want to lose those. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this, stick both of the bolts in, like so, like that. You're gonna take the gasket, put it on the bottom, of this right here. And then you're just gonna put it back in there like that, and you will be good. So we need to do the exact same for both sides. Like we did last time, take the gasket, put it on like so. And I'm just going to take the drill and drill these things back in. You got to make sure this face is down. Some people install these wrong and face them up. And you're going to mess, if you bend, break or bend this bracket, you're probably going to have to just buy the whole strut over again, which will suck really bad. So. Yeah, I think it was about to die. Oh yeah, it was just about to die. So I got it just in time. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 10mm socket now and then just go back and tighten everything up. Actually, I'm going to go with the ratchet because the ratchet can get it a lot tighter, in my opinion, which is good. Oops, I just hit that. Okay, and next 
what I'm going to do is we're going to take these bolts right here and then install them. This is where the lift gate goes. So this is where the lift gate goes and this is where the screws go. Set that up in there like so. Cool. There we go. Both of those are tight. You want it. All right. So we're basically on the last part. We got these new ends right here. This is the locking pin. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is. So before we install these, we got to take this out. This is do not bend, but. So there we go, just take it out like that. Put that on the ground right here. Oh, the bottom one goes in here, like so. Top one goes in here, like so. But once the top one goes in, it's stuck, so you just gotta make sure I do it right though. Okay, so what I did first was I literally just put, just attach this one first. And then next, what we have to do is, since they don't really, it doesn't match up right, you just need to rotate with both hands and then it should start rotating and what we're going to have to do is I'm going to lift up on this move this out of the way and I need to get that to fit on here so just bring it down until it starts to fit right there perfect perfect move over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap this in here Like that, try not to scratch your car up. <laughs> turn this around. Oh. I can get that turn around some more. All right, cool. I just want to make sure that's in there because it's a C clip. So now both of them are holding the trunk up, no issue. And what I need to do now is I need to go back. Okay, so now they got both struts installed. What you need to do is you're going to need these uh, pins. Uh -huh. See that? See how I just came through at the bottom and just turn it like that and this keeps this part in. These are in there. These are good. Take this out. So if you like this tutorial, like and subscribe to this video and I got more videos coming up. And as you can tell from uh, right here, this is in there pretty well. Um, luckily, I did not go with the high performance ones. Like there's three options. I went with the cheapest ones, which were $68 because I'm running a stock system. Um, so, yeah, the higher ones are like for heavy spoilers and body kits and all that, I guess. But. I'm using, I have that little tiny spoiler that comes stock on the car, so it's not really a spoiler. It's more like a piece of tin foil at it. But anyways, got it in there, and as you can see, arm day more to open and close this thing now. So that is good, and I am happy that this worked out well. And yeah, another again, shout out to Z1 Motorsports. Y'all should definitely order this part from them. They're cheaper than AutoZone. They got a great warranty with this that comes included in the purchase, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask them and they'll help you out as well. So, thanks for watching this video.